Right, we haven't won with that yet. Double check. No, we've won with Sentient Hellhorned, but not Wildenton Hellhorned. Let's see if we can make this work. So we start with some healing spells. Those are kind of interesting. Ways for us to keep the frontmost unit alive. So we start with six train stewards. They all cost three. And the Sketches of Salvation Relic, which means four of them get summoned to the middle floor at the beginning of combat. Sort of the easiest way to win this run is to ignore the train stewards and add to your deck four super powerful, super large units that will get automatically summoned, then remove all the train stewards. Do I want to try Quick Sweeper? I wonder if the Encant Wildenton is any better. I have to play them on his floor, though. Wildenton is definitely going top floor. So, Predator it is. And we'll look at some artifacts here. Spells get a third upgrade slot. Can be a powerful thing to have at the start of your run. means we can make certain super powerful cards, although not a lot of those to be found in Hellhorn slash Awoken. I guess there's a few. Yes, card-based tower defense is a good, good summation of Monster Train's premise. The idea is you have a deck of cards full of units and spells. We get to deploy those units onto three floors of our vertical train, don't ask, and Enemies will arrive in waves, starting at the bottom and then moving up by one floor each turn. <clears throat> Normally I'd be about Imsicle here, but with all non-champ units costing two more, that means the Impl costs three. So no. Magic power is not terrible. Jack strips for free damage is also perfectly fine. Connor with an or. Thanks for the prime sub. Connor. Welcome to the Cozy Subclub. Yeah, there's also a fourth floor with the, the pyre on it. That's the that's the caboose of the ceiling. So it's different or something. It's like jack strips. And then give them armor. First fight's pretty free here. We've got four train stewards in the middle floor with 10 by 2. So it doesn't really matter what the first fight is. We can take the, the challenge for an additional reward here, no problem. In fact, let's do the following. Get him. They're so heavily armored. Is the plural of caboose, cabise? No, it's gotta be like moose, where the plural is the same. Caboose is caboose. Whether you like it or not. So when the boss arrives, it'll uh, relentlessly fight our units until one side perishes. Which is actually a good thing, because if the boss could just waltz past your units and go up to the top, you'd lose pretty quick. Stings are okay. I'll take one. Moosen. I do have triple upgrade slots. Ritual of Battle seems pretty powerful. With three upgrade slots. Give me that. 
Rage causes units to deal more damage each time they attack. So my only question is, do we want Animus of Will or Husk Hermit? A multi-attacker or a sweeper? I think we want a multi-attacker. It's also Alpha Friend here. Gains five attack power each time they attack. That'd be really good mixed with the Animus of Will. I think we want to take the Animus of Will first, though. And we're going to start our start our journey out by going to a Merchant of Steel here. Why are units so expensive? They're expensive because we're playing the Steward Stack Challenge, one of the expert challenges of Monster Train. We start with more train stewards, and all of our units cost more, but we also have Sketches of Salvation to make up for it. Could we infuse Alpha Fiend into a steward? That's technically allowed. Yes, we could have done that. I really like that we get offered a multi-strike upgrade. And what are you? Ah. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I don't mind making a super animus of will. Could even have two of them. Husk doesn't pass on sweep. No, no unit does, unfortunately. I think we take the Awoken Hollow here. To make this work. I'll also grab another artifact here. I'm a sucker for this. <clears throat> Mark of an Exile on Weldenton is pretty cool. Make our champion hit harder. Let's do that. If you combine the Alpha Fiend Essence with the Sweeper, then you get an attack bonus for each unit the Sweep hits. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweep. Pretty happy with another unit draft here. Another candidate for stuff. Oh dear, they're skipping the middle floor though. We gotta kill them. How dare you? Oh yeah, they actually all died at Jack Strips. Didn't think about that. Cute. Although you have damage shield. Slightly problematic. Actually, I guess you die to jack strips again, right? Because you'll you did take it again moving to the top floor. So I shouldn't need to play anything there. Yeah, it does work. But what if I had rage? You die pretty quick though. Although you are quick, so you strike, strike, strike. If get, yeah, I'll make you angry. Easy peasy. Get punched. Could stack some more regen here. If we're infusing a Woken Hollow, it's actually not a bad idea to have one more Wildwood Sap. We've got lots of spell upgrades available too, which can make these extra strong. Okay, I'll take one more actually. Three is probably the limit though. I don't want anything to do with imps. 
vent seems unnecessary in a world with jack strips, too. We did get Alpha Fiend. Oh, interesting. So we can infuse Alpha Fiend into the Animus of Will with Multi Strike 3 and give it plus 5 attack power per thing. But I'm actually not sure that's all that good. Really like the stat bonus from the Awoken Hollow. I'm gonna infuse the Awoken Hollow and then duplicate, I think is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Do I want any of these units then? I don't think so. Get to choose a divine artifact, a one-time bonus. Can also skip or uh, can also skip these for 25 gold. But heck, make the su steward units super powered. I haven't had divine advanced prototype and regular advanced prototype at the same time in quite a long time. And that is going to be hilariously busted for one combat. Just just watch the power of the stewards here. Just you watch. Twenty times four, damage shield six. Want to boost any spells? Yes, ritual of battle should be one cost. Definitely. How's it going, Black Flame? We're playing Steward Stack as our expert challenge. We start with more train stewards, and all of our units are more expensive. But we also have Sketches of Salvation, so we get to automatically summon some units at the start of each combat. It's pretty good. Can I make a double Wildwood Sap? Because I'm kind of down for that. Actually, I think I could do Awake Wildwood Sap. Ooh, I like that even more. For two cost. You know now, you are not alone. Not when you have super-powered Animus of Will on your side. We have 85 shards now as we go into Daedalus here, but fear not, the super stewards have this one. And they're ready to kick some butt. They most assuredly are. And so when healed, <clears throat> they cultivate two, which means they boost the damage and health of the unit with the lowest health, which is often them. Interesting. I guess you get a steward too. Might as well. 200 damage to the boss. So 
out. Just keep stacking heals on the Animus of Will to, to further the Cultivate effect. And stack more regen, too. Isn't this track such a banger? Such a good time. Final wave. Fight. <laughs> GG. Damage shield too strong. Last stop. Restore friendly units to full health could be pretty broadly useful, especially if I've got uh, two Animus of Will on the same floor that activate Rejuvenate effects or Cultivate effects. Sure. I'll take that. Demon Fiend, very big, expensive unit with very high stats. Seems like a perfect addition to the battle line. Get in here. Did that train steward say last stop? It sure did. Yeah, it sure did. What do we want here? More energy? More card draw? I think it's more card draw for now. It always make the spells free. And we definitely want to remove cards here. Definitely. Although I also wouldn't mind looking at the Hellhorn banner unit to maybe get something else or combine something with the Demon Fiend. But I'd rather upgrade the Demon Fiend in the first place, I suppose. With multi-strike. Heck yeah. What a big boy. Just make him huge and tanky. Love it. No further additions required. And we're going to start to remove these train stewards. They have mostly served their purposes now. We want the Sketches of Salvation to start to put stuff in play properly. Any desire to spell chain anything? No. Cool. We'll be heading to a lot of Merchant of Magic from here. This one for sure. Oh, good, and we get the quick sweep version of Waldenton. The Strangler. Essentially traps units on their floor. Very good. Okay, onward. And to that end, I'm not afraid of Heaven's Seal, because we have the Strangler version of uh, Waldenton. We can do some good stuff. Although that means I'm very likely to deploy our champ on the bottom here. Which is questionable. But I need to kill these Absolvers before they generate garbage. There is one more steward. If I ritual a battle, you'll do 45 damage outright. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Oh, that's right. We have unleashed the Wildwood. I think Waldenton will actually be quite fine here. Capable of soloing much of this for a little while, anyway. Let's give him a body blocker. Bonk.
And again, everything is trapped on the bottom floor until Wildenton is killed. Kind of cool. works a little too well, quite frankly. Let's do this. We apply enough regen, Wildenton can solo the boss. I like that, actually. Rage would help, too. Although, if the boss has assistance, that could be an issue. Looks pretty good overall. We wipe out everything, and the boss takes 357 damage. Let's even without drawing the... This 5 regen would probably turn it into an outright win against the boss. Pretty nuts. Fortunately, we have another line of units, and they win. Dead. We get Ashes of the Fallen. Summon abilities trigger a second time. Don't think we're likely to have any summon abilities, actually. So we might want to just skip this gain 25 gold. Normally this is a very good artifact, but here it does nothing for us. So skip. Seems like we don't need Ensnare. Oh, that's an interesting infusion. Huh. That would activate the Animus of Wills, but I'm not sure it's worth the shards. But I could do it right away. That's kind of cool, actually. Sure. I'll do all cool things, and I'll definitely take an Inferno here. Good for spamming on the bottom floor. Also good for making very cheap with the Merchant of Magic. No Rage Decay or more armor. Mostly getting durability through healing. Let's take no Rage Decay. We do get Holdover. Okay, and that means that we can do the following. This seems pretty good. Let's make one of these consume. Uh, I could pay for a reroll to get one more discount, but kind of over overpriced. Intrinsic on anything, no thanks. What we are gonna do though is fuse the edge prior with the demon fiend. Gives five more HP and causes the Demon Fiend to heal everything else on the same floor each turn. And yeah, we probably want to remove one more Steward, actually. I'm going to go Merchant of Steel next to get another double remove. So let's pay for that purge. These Stewards have got to go. Alright, I feel very good now. I think we're going to be crushing it. I'll take the challenge. Give me more money. My units are quick anyway, so there's not much to lose here. Yeah. 
Quick sweep is OP. Not even the armor could save her? Seems so. Nasty. Oh no! Anyway. Start Machula battling this one. Let me stack healing here? Question mark? I think so. Please buff yourself. awake here. Oh, actually, I can just kill this guy. Even better. Here, you need some healing, too. Hundred and two times four. Is the sweet boss though. So you need to be able to tank a hit or two. Or else. Looks like you're mostly fine though. Jack Strips was so good in this fight. Easy peasy. Alright. 156 by 4 does the job just fine. <laughs> GG. Restore a friendly unit to full health, swap health into damage. Uh, very, very powerful with rage, specifically, because you you turn your rage damage into health, but then you also keep the rage damage, basically. Definitely take this. Skip these. Actually, I like March of Shields to let us reposition the middle line. Let's take a March of Shields. Yeah, rage counts for that, and, and it works in a weird way, too. It's pretty nuts. Do I have any upgrade slots left? No. Rage 7's a good upgrade now, though. It's kind of funny. What are you? What are you? The Historian. Are you honest, aggressive, or stealthy? I'm feeling honest today, sir. One-time gain goal. We don't have much time left to spend money, so stealthy's not going to work. Boosting the pyre. Nothing's going to get to the pyre. Wildenton makes sure of that. So sure, a one-time gold gain. Thank you. And the stewards are gone. That means we'll actually just have three units in the middle. We'll plan on duplicating 
Um, I guess we can duplicate one more Animus of Will. Or I could dupe the Demon Fiend. Huh, actually, I kind of like double Demon Fiend, double Animus of Will. Fun food for thought. Merchant of Magic next, huh? Unstable Vortex, Merchant of Magic. Perfect. And then Hellvent, Merchant of Magic, double perfect. Yeah, it's exactly, it's twice the restore triggers. Although, not quite, right? If we have one Demon Fiend and three Animus of Will, that's three restore triggers. If we have two Demon Fiend and two Animus of Will, that's two restore uh, four restore triggers. Two Animus healing twice each. But it'll get the Animus individually higher health quickly, so I think I do like double Demon Fiend. And I am going to purge one torch. Oh, this is also... Uh-oh. This is Stinky Fell. Scourge Fell. No! <laughs> Why you do it like that, Fell? At least with Scourge Fell, we know to put uh, Weldington on the bottom here. Hmm, what if I just take five so I can get 120 gold? You know, I kind of like that, actually. Got 110 health. Let's do it. Also, Wildenton is going to solo this entire battle. Pro tip. Including Fel, I believe. Let's assume including Fel. We adapted mutation. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. That's how good adaptive mutation is with uh, with rage. As you can see, both numbers will increase. We're gonna go from 109.45 to 125.109. It's because our base attack value is only 29. So the 29 becomes 45 plus 80, and then the 45 turns into 109. It accounts for the buffed value, but then you don't lose the buff. It's definitely crazy. Look at those stats. It's definitely not supposed to work that way, but it totally does. That's right, and we can, if you remove, uh, adaptive mutation normally consumes, so you can only play it one time. But if you remove consume from it, you can keep doing that over and over again. Totally gonna draw both ultimate penance at the same time. Oh, it didn't happen. Nice. Let's get another one next turn. Good. Final wave. Wow, Feld is 22 by 2. That is a ton. Not quite beating Fell. I bet if I play Nexus Spike, we do, though, from the extra regen. Don't want to take the damage, though, so we'll play Ultimate Penance. Root Seeds do 836 to Fell. 
just with our champ here. Del very aggro here. And that's a GG. Who needs an army when you could just punch everything yourself? Ooh, last stand, double rage. How about yes? It feels like we want more card draw? Although energy is actually becoming slightly an issue with some of these expensive spells. We'll just put discounts on them. Lots of discounts. Who needs to invest in energy when you can just make your spells cheaper? Although double stack is here. That's pretty good, too. Um, do we have a minus two cost in the temple? No, we have spell chain. Hmm. Could do some hilarious regen things. We have Apex Imp at home. If we're stacking Rage on the champ, then Predator 2 is the way to go. This one gets more health, though. But this one does way more damage. Way more damage. And the rage will simply turn to health. That's right. That's right. Wait, this can be made double stack? No. Tell me that doesn't work the way I want it to. Ludicrous. Mm, just gonna reroll. And Eternal Stone. Oh my goodness. Well, is it Last Stand or Adaptive Mutation? It's gotta be Last Stand. All right, we've broken the game. I don't think we need anything more than the champion now. I'm going to be honest. I think the champion alone solos the whole game from here. Let's find out. That means I'm going to let these die, it looks like. Seems fine to me. And I can even Inferno on the bottom floor, or I can Inferno here, just kill everything. No, we should weaken this fool. Wouldn't mutation be exponential there? Yeah, so is rage doubling, exactly. Doubling things is exponential too. I've got to know if this works. How much regen? 16 regen. Good lord. The Ember Drain. Oh, 
153 health. Let's go. Twenty-seven regen too. And then the power. GG nerd. Mega punched. Ooh, having a way to daze divinity could be nice. I grab that. Kind of expensive though. And we're still going to duplicate one of our units, even though we don't actually need the non Wildenton units. I do want to have them. We're going to send our champion to the middle, make the whole row fast. Oh, that's a great point, actually. If we ascend the champ, hot nonsense will ensue. We can take Volatile Gauge. That's cute. Actually, not the world's worst volatile gauge. We get 10 draw per turn. And last, er, uh, uh, not last and. Uh, what is it? Ritual of Battle is still always free. Which is really cool. It'll be, it'll be free 100% of the time. So I'll definitely take that. And we don't need these. In Monster Train, this effect, the cost is rolled randomly first and then price reductions apply. So for example, last this last stand will just roll one, two, or three. And this one rolls one, two, or three, and then you subtract three. So it's always free. Kind of cool. Oh, we can also remove Consume Off Adaptive Mutation, by the way. It's both of them. Get both of them. Le Levtron, thanks for the Prime sub in the four months. Thank you, thank you. Holy crap, we can do Holdover Adaptive Mutation. If that's not the coolest thing ever, I guess Holdover Last Stand is the coolest thing ever. If that's not. But I think Holdover Adaptive Mutation is just free health every turn, right? Or does it stop working after you balance? No, it's going to stop working, actually. Oh, okay, so let's say we have 50 Rage for plus 100 attack power, and we're at a base 100-100 stat line. So we're at 200-100. We play Adaptive Mutation, we go to 200 health, 100 attack power. We have 100, we have 100 attack power from Rage, so we're now 200-200. Then you play Adaptive Mutation again, and nothing happens. Actually, no, your 200 becomes your... That's not right. Nothing doesn't happen. It becomes 300-200. Uh, because you'll 
you'll ba put the base attack part at 200, and then you'll have 100 raid, or 100 from raid, so you're at 300, 200. Then you play it again, you go to 300, 300. No, you're right, it, it does work. Okay, let's hold over Adaptive Mutation then. It does work. I'm just crazy. We'll make Last Stand cheaper. Yeah, and we're getting more rage each turn, too. That's also correct. Still doubling you. Although we could double the holdover adaptive mutation. <laughs> Wait a minute. I could also double the last stand, which is probably even better, actually. Let's double the last stand. Oh man, this is going to be dumb. And we could spell chain Nexus Spike. That's funny. Get in here. Let's go. Double zero cost rage plus 10 also potentially worthwhile. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, Seraph is making things consume. That's kind of annoying. How dare you, Seraph. Can't you see that I'm an important man with an important plan? We have to go top floor because Seraph. It's gonna summon birds. It's fine. We want to ascend ourselves. That's what we want to do. And then we're super duper powered. Chew. So that means we actually want to buff this Animus of Will now. Seems good. That is going to result in some curses, though. What, this rolled three costs? Terrible. You can't do that to me. Guess we really should have prevented them from happening in the first place then, huh? Trouble. Definite trouble. Yes, and, and this is the issue I first saw earlier, too. We can kill with uh, Sting, though, which does save health. Ow! Hopefully no more curses happening. I'm just gonna consume this? I guess so. Send Waldenton? We sure did. Alright, we do take one hit to the fire. That's A okay. We got plenty of health. I'm not afraid. This fight's quite annoying, but 
good news is we have it in hand here. Five hundred hit points. GG. Build your own boss, that's right. Damned. That's true, the last divinity will probably die before we can finish scaling here. I guess I'm okay with that. So do we put Wildenton on the bottom floor? Seems like Wildenton will suffer. Actually, no, Wildenton will be okay on turn one. After turn one, though, all bets are off. We could easily die very quickly. Although with Tiresome Climb, we would do quite well. The man solo up top. I think that might be the play, honestly. Takes the least amount of damage there, only 11 per turn. I say we do it. I say we do it. Let me solo it. We have no initial rage yet. What a bummer. There is Nexus Spike early, though. That's probably worth playing. Get our 16 regen. That makes us totally safe. Adaptive Mutation's not good yet. Second next to Spike, so we can add a, another ton of regeneration here. Or I could just play Inferno here. It's not bad. If I have the regen, I don't care what uh, units come my way, huh? 31 regeneration. Oh god, the spikes are gonna hurt so much. Where's Adaptive Mutation? Help? <laughs> Okay, this is this is what we wanted to see. This is this is OP. Yeah, looks looks bad or does it? Behold. Ritual of battle, last stand, last stand, adaptive mutation. I think we're fine. Blam. Let the soloing begin. And we're not even close to done. 
I'm gonna take damage from this. I don't care. Now we're 500, 400. Double my rage. Again. Come here. Can you ascend into the pyre room? Yes. Be careful with that. Inferno! Beep. He doesn't care. GG! Get bopped, sir. Right in the nose. Got him.